So I'm going to give you all the same lesson that I give to all of my students no matter what course I am teaching. So pretend for the next few minutes that you are my undergraduates and you are going to have to participate. So good morning class. Today we are going to talk about SFW, which is the most important thing that I can teach you. When you write anything, keep in mind, so effin' what? As your very responsible instructor, I am not going to tell you what the F stands for. I'm going to rely on your intelligence to figure that part out. Does everybody understand? Sounds good. Awesome. SFW, so F and what? What is the point that you are trying to make? Why should your reader care? More importantly, why should your reader agree with you? You are making an argument. And in order to make an effective argument, you need to bring together evidence and claims. I'll explain it with an example. I taught Introduction to Archaeology, and my students had to write a paper about trends in human evolution. And they had a website where they could measure hominin skulls, so Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, Australopithecus. Now, I had some students that said increasing brain size was a really important trend in human evolution. That was a great claim, but they had no measurements. They had no evidence to support that claim. So why should the reader believe them? And then on the other end of the spectrum, I had students that measured everything. They measured the length of the skull, the width of the jaw, the diameter of the eye sockets, everything. But they had no claims. So we have this evidence, and even though some people say, well, the evidence speaks for itself, unfortunately, I am here to tell you it does not. Remember that we can have Republicans and Democrats looking at the exact same evidence and coming to very different conclusions. So you must interpret your evidence with a claim. Now the reason that I say that SFW is the most important thing that I can teach you is because you will use this no matter what career you go into. Who here, when they finish their education, plans on getting a job? I should see everybody's hand raised high. Job is important. Well, guess what? You're going to have to write a resume. You're going to have to write a cover letter. You're going to have to explain to an employer, SFW. What are you going to bring to the company that's going to make it worth their while to pay you? You need to make an argument, show why you fit this company. Now, let's say you have successfully used SFW, you've gotten that job, and now you have a boss. And your boss says, well, our, co our company is considering two different strategies for reaching this market. How should we go about doing that? You're going to have to write a report. You're going to have to explain to your boss, we should go with this strategy because we will get a larger share of the market, we'll make more money, our profits will go up 50%. Bring in that evidence, bring in those claims, bring them together. Now, some of you may have noticed that I am using SFW to explain SFW. So let's break down how I did this. First of all, raise your hand. What is the big claim that I made about SFW? Anybody? Yes. Most important thing that I can teach you. We have 10 weeks together, and the most important thing I can teach you are three letters. OK, pretty, pretty hefty claim. What evidence did I present to support that claim? Evidence. 
how they would use it. So I explained how you use SFW. Jobs. Jobs. Is getting a job important for you? Yeah, getting a job is important. And I didn't just say, you're going to use this in your job. What else did I say? What specific pieces of evidence did I provide? How are you getting that job? Resume. Resume. Cover letter. What are you turning into your boss? A report. You're going to be using this. This is how I'm using SFW to explain SFW. Now, college is a great way to practice SFW. This is a lifelong skill. It's like learning a musical instrument or playing a sport. The more you practice, the better you get. When you are doing your reading, figure out what is the main point. What is the author's SFW? What evidence do they bring in? What claims do they make? We've got some really excited people out here. <laughs> How do they build their argument? And do you agree with their argument? In your papers, where do you think the SFW goes? If you're writing a paper, let's say you summarize your argument in one sentence. Where would you put that sentence? At the beginning of the first paragraph? Or end of the first paragraph? Even better, what would we call that sentence? Thesis statement, yes. Yes. So your thesis statement states your argument. If I were writing a paper about SFW, my thesis statement would be, SFW is the most important thing that I can teach you because you will use it no matter what career you go into. Brief summary of the thesis, of my argument, and I explained that throughout the rest of the paper. We are going to practice this when you write your papers for this course. I recommend that you continue practicing this in your other classes because the more you practice, the easier it becomes and the better you get at it and you will use it. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>